Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another week. This is week six of our challenge to only eat what we can catch, grow, harvest, or raise. Um, and this week we are finishing off two projects that have been on the go for too long. Way too long. <laughs> uh, we are building a three tiered compost system on our property, which is great. We have lots of great um, stuff to put in our compost from scraps to chicken manure, which is really good. But you have to let it sit for a year, seaweed, all sorts of things we have access to um, that we just need to properly start composting. And we do some more work to get our big water catchment system in place. So let's get to it. Let's go. All right. So if you watched our last episode, the turkeys gobble every time I start. If you watched our last episode, you know one of the things we're really going to be focusing on this year is our soil. Um, we have a lot of really clay based soils here on the property. Um, and this is one of our projects that we began on last fall and kind of got put on hold. Um, as more important things came along. Uh, but this uh, week we are going to be working on putting together kind of a three bay compost bin system. Um, so we can start producing more of our own soil. Uh, we have chickens, which uh, are very fertile chicken poop, which uh, can be composted, but it takes about a year before you can use it. Um, it's actually too high in nitrogen or too hot uh, and will burn your plant's roots if you use it right away. Um, so it has to be composted for over a year. So building this kind of three-tiered system will allow us to not be putting new compost on top of old compost um, that's almost ready to use. We can kind of separate it with stuff that's almost ready and be turning that um, and using one bin for our new compost and kind of keep that on a rotation. So um, we've got our back pillars in already. We've got uh, four more pieces of driftwood that we got from the beach that we're going to uh, cement into the ground here. And then we're going to get our plywood on and start moving our giant pile of compost that we just kind of been piling up on the ground into our new compost bin. So let's get to it. Post in there, and now we'll uh, start cutting some plywood while we wait for the next round.
Okay, our compost here is done. I'm sure all the carpenters out there are very impressed with my uh, my skills, but uh, it doesn't need to be pretty for what we're using it for, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, we'll get our kind of big pile of compost into one of the bins here. Um, we've got this sort of chicken manure that's at the bottom of this pile. We got tons of it. Um, so we'll kind of zoom in and show you what that looks like. Um, but that probably just needs another couple months and we'll start breaking it up and being able to turn it. So being in bins like this will be a lot easier to kind of turn over and keep track of what's what um, rather than everything getting mixed in all together. So I uh, hope you found that uh, entertaining. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm sure the carpenters and safety people are loving it, but uh, we got it done. It got it done pretty quickly. So we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, Chris, tell us about our next project we have got on the go right now. Uh, well, we'll see how this goes. We're going to try and get our water catchment a little closer into place um, and roll it where it needs to go. And then I'm not quite sure how we're going to stand it up, but we're just going to start and kind of see what happens, see if we can figure it out. I had a pulley idea, but there isn't really a lot to attach onto. So let's see. It'll roll. I know that. So let's get that. I also don't want to roll over that spout. Oh, it's nice dirt on there. But, what side do I want that on? Check it out. Sorry. I can hear you laughing at me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so now I just need to figure out how to do that part. Idea. Um, I thought they said more of a lip on it. I'd be able to put a rope around, but it doesn't. So I'm going to put a piece of wood inside, turn it sideways so it catches, run a rope up through the Y in the Arbutus tree to kind of give it some of that upward leverage uh, and see if we'll, I'll be able to pull it up. <laughs> I'll catch you at the shop, we'll see how it goes. Let's go see. First go. Okay. Got our piece of wood that we measured out here. Here we go. Over the top. So this should go in end to end and then sit snug. And we'll pull out. This works, I'm gonna be so impressed with myself. <laughs> I'll be impressed with you too, babe. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Uh, they aren't, but I'd be impressed. Well, it's working, I just don't want to leverage it. That may help us once we get it up a bit, but yeah, help me. Oh, Jamie, cool mushrooms growing up yet. That might be the lion's name.
Okay, we got it. <laughs> Look at that. Now we just have to turn it around so the spout is forward facing. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised we got it into place to be honest, but uh, it's where it needs to go and we've got some leveling to do. Um, it wasn't perfectly level before and now moving the gravel around kind of shifted it too. So we'll get the bottom nice and secure before thousands and thousands of pounds of water go in there so it doesn't slide down the hill. Um, and we can move on to the next step and start setting up some of our piping, which we'll probably show in uh, a future episode. But for now, we're pretty happy to have this in place. Okay, so in a bit of a dumb dumb moment, we're putting the um, water tank into place and getting that lifted up. Um, I was kind of looking around at things and noticed something that I recognized somewhere but didn't quite know where and someone had sent me a photo of it, um, which is these guys, which is all over our entire property. And we did a post last week saying we haven't had much greens and only seaweed because uh, we started earlier this year in April. Uh, but this is miner's lettuce, which is all over the upper part of our area everywhere. So um, there's some bigger pieces around too. So we're going to harvest some of this to make a, a salad tonight. But nice to know that there's uh, more here that we can eat. Oh my goodness, that was a day. <laughs> we are so exhausted now and uh, I think it's almost bedtime. In there um but thank you guys so much for watching we appreciate it uh if you haven't already subscribed to our channel please feel free to do so and if you have any questions or things that you want uh answered please comment below and we will get back to you thank see you guys you. next week bye